Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to another video. The time is currently like three o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm just now starting the video because my plans, my plans never go as I want them to. I was planning on ice fishing today, but we've got wind gusts up to like 25, 30 miles an hour, and I don't play with that, especially ice fishing. I mean, that just sounds absolutely miserable. So, so I've been looking for some spots to fish, haven't had much success. So I've opted to coming to this little creek right here that I actually fished a couple videos ago. Did pretty well, caught some cutthroat trout. That's what we're gonna be doing for the last couple hours of the day. Also haven't really eaten anything. I wanted to do a catch and cook on the ice, do some fried trout and pickles, but obviously that didn't work out. So I'm wanting to keep a couple of trout and cook up some dinner out here. Don't wanna waste any more time. Let's get fishing. All right. I got my wade boots on today, so we can just walk straight through the creek. Now I've got a couple spots picked out that I want to try, that I did well at last time, and that I know I can catch fish at. Because like I said, we are crunched for time, and as much as I'd like to just fish every little spot I see, I'm just going to head straight to the juice. Alright, here's the first spot I want to fish. Got to be really stealthy coming up on them. Like, look, I already spooked one. Wow, okay. All right, first cast of the day. There we go. First cast of the day. How do you like that? <laughs> Little cut. Little cut. First one of the day. I'd say that's a little bit too small to keep, although they don't get much bigger in here. So I'm gonna let this guy go. Maybe we can catch some bigger ones, but that's a pretty fish. Sweet, there we go. Feels good to catch a fish today. I was starting to think I wasn't going to. That feels good. The itch has been successfully scratched. Let's try it again. Just kind of flip it over there behind that big rock. That's where they're all hiding. Well, there's a little guy. There's just a little guy, like a minnow. Let's see, oh, ooh, there's a good one. There's a good one. There's a good size one. And he's looking at my fly, he's looking at my fly. Oh, he missed it. As it was floating by, he opened his mouth and went for it, but he was just kind of not too enthused. Let's see if he gets it this time. Oh, he's going to it. Oh, he missed it again. All right, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm right here. It's sighted. Oh, oh, oh. Got it that time. No, no. Shoot, maybe I should have let him eat it longer. All right, here is the juice spot. Last time I caught like 20 fish from right here. I'm gonna adjust my indicator like three feet down because they're all sitting on the bottom. Oh, oh, there's a good one. I can see a good one swimming right there. There he is. Oh, that was an eater. That was an eater too. Shoot. There he is. There he is. Is that too small? Yep, and there he goes. <laughs> I think that was just a little too small for dinner. Ugh. Dang it! A freaking, oh golly. Oh, look at this crap. How, how? Got him. Oh my gosh. There he is. There he is. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Yes. Oh my goodness. Finally. I've missed probably like four or five fish bigger than this one. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You are going on the dinner plate, buddy. There we go. Nice little cutty. Not very big, but this is about what you're going to get out of this creek. There's not a whole lot that are bigger than this, but there are a few. 
We're not gonna cook that fish quite yet. Obviously that would be a pretty small meal. So I wanna get at least one more, one or two more, and then we'll cook. There we go. There we go, that's an eater. That's an eater. Nice. Heck yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, you're not going anywhere. That is keeper number two of the day. That's a solid fish for this creek. Add them to our stringer here. There we go, that's two good looking fish right there. <laughs> Another one. A little too small to keep. I love catching them though. There he is. Oh, that's a giant. That's a giant. Look at that. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. That's actually a good one. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. Dude, this is a giant for this creek. That is a very good fish. And he's just so beautiful. Look at those spots. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy go. I'm kind of tempted to keep him, but I'm just gonna let him go. Heck yeah. Nice little cut. All right, guys, it is time to cook up a little fresh trout. And I'm gonna fillet them because I want them boneless because we're frying them. And this log is gonna be our filleting board. I'm gonna make sure I get all the meat off as I can. Get our stove set up. There we go. Pan going on. Make sure it's stable. The last thing I want to do is spill oil. There we go. And then I have a whole giant bottle of canola oil. Can never have too much of this stuff. So I just brought the entire bottle. There we go, that's perfect. And then I've got a little bag here with an egg that has already been cracked in my backpack. Oh well, let's crack it open. Oh. There we go. That's good enough. We'll mix this egg up. Notice how the two different fish have different colors of meat. That bigger one had pink meat and that smaller one had this white meat. Really interesting. They both came from the same spot, eating the same things. We'll go ahead and put them in the bag. This is kind of a quickie job out here. I've only got like 40 minutes left of the day, but I mean, I am seriously starving. All right, and as for breading our fish, folks, we have some Louisiana seasoned crispy shrimp fry. We're not cooking shrimp, but I've used this in the past. Some of you guys might've seen that video. And this shrimp fry is really good. It has a really crispy, crunchy texture. So we're gonna pour some of that in this bag. All right, now for the messy part. Take our fish. Drop it in there. Guys, I love doing fried trout. I know I do this recipe a lot, but it's just good. And I feel like a lot of people don't fry their trout. It's more of a, you know, walleye, crappie, white bass kind of way of cooking, but I love it for trout, honestly. All right, coat them up. Oh, actually, before I forget, I have some Timber Ridge Rub Seasoning original recipe that I was gonna add to our mixture. It's already seasoned, so it doesn't like, you know, really need any extra seasoning, but I love this stuff. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of it. There we go. Link to this will be in the description, by the way. I love it. Go grab you a bottle and try it out. 
And speaking of that, the rod I was using, the fly rod, will also be linked in the description. It's taken a minute for our oil to get hot enough. The wind has kind of blown our flame. All right. Yeah, that's hot enough. Ugh. There we go. It's kind of sizzling. Yeah, there we go. And like I said earlier, guys, I wanted to have fried trout and pickles, so I got a little baggie of some pickles. Fry a few of those up. Go ahead and flip them over. Mmm, that's looking good. It's already starting to crumble apart. Nothing like frying up some fish right by the creek with a view like that. It is a little bit breezy. That's the only downside, but it's not too bad, not too cold. We did have a storm rolling in, but now all of a sudden we got blue skies. I don't know what's up with that. Like, if it's gonna storm, storm. But don't be teasing me like this. Fish is done. I don't have paper towels, so they're gonna be a little bit greasier than we want, but it's all right. We're gonna let those cool down for a second. In the meantime, we got a few pickles that need to be cooked. Look at that, we got a double. All right, so we'll let those sizzle in the grease for a minute. In the meantime, we're gonna try out our fish here. Fresh trout at the creek. Oh yeah, that breading is amazing. Shrimp breading on cutthroat trout. Wild cutthroat trout. Not bad. Ooh, our pickles are floating, which means they are done. When you're frying stuff, when it floats, that means it's done. Turn our stove off. Let that oil cool down before we pour it into an empty bottle. Never just pour your oil in the water or something like that. Just let it cool down and bring an extra container to pour it into. There we go. Fishing all day long with little to no success. Like I said, I was trying to ice fish earlier today, unsuccessfully, and I've been running on little food. So this is our little meal, our little reward for the day. I gotta try some of these pickles, man. Amazing, freaking amazing, you guys already know. There are a few pin bones in this fish. Um, just those little row of pin bones that run right along the center of the filet. But when a fish is this small, it's almost not even worth trying to cut them out because there's just not very much meat. And the bones are so small anyway, I'd rather just eat them. You can barely even taste them or notice them. Just extra protein. That bigger fish is way better. It had a little bit pinker meat and it tastes a lot better. There we go. That was good. Not enough of it. I'm still hungry. That was good. Well, folks, that is gonna do it for today's video. I know it wasn't a banger or anything, but it's still some content for y'all, so hope you enjoyed. But I'm gonna try to get out on the ice for you guys this next week. We're kind of in this awkward stage where a lot of the ice isn't safe ice yet, or the wind just blows it off in one day. Like, it's really, really freaking weird. But hopefully you guys can be expecting some ice fishing vids soon, or maybe not, I don't know. If you wanna check out the rod I was using, I will leave a link in the description below. Good starter rod if you're just getting into fly fishing. And give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.